The minor planet and Centaur 10199 Cheriklo, with a diameter of about 250 km 160 miles, is the smallest celestial object with confirmed rings and the fifth ringed celestial object ever discovered in the Solar System, after the gas giants and ice giants. Orbiting Cheriklo is a bright ring system consisting of two narrow and dense bands, 6 to 7 km 4 miles and 2 to 4 km 2 miles wide, separated by a gap of 9 km 6 miles. The rings orbit at distances of about 400 km 250 miles from the center of Cheriklo, a thousandth the distance between Earth and the Moon. The discovery was made by a team of astronomers using ten telescopes at various locations in Argentina, Brazil, and Chile in South America during observation of a stellar occultation on the 3rd of June 2013, and was announced on the 26th of March 2014. The existence of a ring system around a minor planet was unexpected because it had been thought that rings could only be stable around much more massive bodies. Ring systems around minor bodies had not previously been discovered despite the search for them through direct imaging and stellar occultation techniques. Cheriklo's rings should disperse over a period of at most a few million years, so either they are very young, or they are actively contained by shepherd moons with a mass comparable to that of the rings. The team nicknamed the rings Oyapok the inner, more substantial ring and Cui the outer ring, after the two rivers that form the northern and southern coastal borders of Brazil. A request for formal names will be submitted to the IAU at a later date. It was proposed in January 2015 that 2060 Chiron has a similar pair of rings. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Discovery. Cheriklo is the largest confirmed member of a class of small bodies known as centaurs, which orbit the sun between Saturn and Uranus in the outer solar system. Forecasts had shown that, as seen from South America, it would pass in front of the 12.4 magnitude star UCAC 42481086-72, located in the constellation Scorpius, on 3 June 2013. With the aid of 13 telescopes located in Argentina, Brazil, Chile, and Uruguay, a team of astronomers led by Felipe Braga Ribas site, a postdoctoral astronomer of the National Observatory on, in Rio de Janeiro, and 65 other researchers from 34 institutions in 12 countries, was able to observe this occultation event, a phenomenon during which a star disappears behind its occulting body. The 1.54 m Danish National Telescope at La Silla Observatory, due to the much faster data acquisition rate of its lucky imager camera 10 Hz, was the only telescope able to resolve the individual rings. During this event, the observed brightness was predicted to dip from magnitude 14.7 star plus Cheriklo to 18.5 Cheriklo alone for at most 19.2 seconds. This increase of 3.8 magnitudes is equivalent to a decrease in brightness by a factor 32.5. The primary occultation event was accompanied by four additional small decreases in the overall intensity of the light curve, which were observed seven seconds before the beginning of the occultation and seven seconds after the end of the occultation. These secondary occultations indicated that something was partially blocking the light of the background star. The symmetry of the secondary occultations and multiple observations of the event in various locations helped reconstruct not only the shape and size of the object, but also the thickness, orientation, and location of the ring planes. The relatively consistent ring properties inferred from several secondary occultation observations discredit alternative explanations for these features, such as cometary-like outgassing. Origin. The origin of the rings is unknown, but both are likely to be remnants of a debris disk, which could have formed via an impact on Cheriklo, a collision with or between one or more pre-existing moons, tidal disruption of a former retrograde moon, or from material released from the surface by cometary activity or rotational disruption. If the rings formed through an impact event with Cheriklo, the object must have impacted at a low velocity to prevent ring particles from being ejected beyond Cheriklo's hill sphere. Impact velocities in the outer solar system are typically approximately equals 1 km per second compared with the escape velocity at the surface of Cheriklo of approximately equals 0.1 km per second, and were even lower before the Kuiper belt was dynamically excited, supporting the possibility that the rings formed in the Kuiper belt before Cheriklo was transferred to its current orbit less than 10 MYR ago. 
Impact velocities in the asteroid belt are much higher, approximately equals 5 kilometers per second, which could explain the absence of such ring features in minor bodies within the asteroid belt. Collisions between ring particles would cause the ring to widen substantially, and pointing Robertson drag would cause the ring particles to fall onto the central body within a few million years, requiring either an active source of ring particles or dynamical confinement by small kilometer-sized embedded or shepherd moons yet to be discovered. Such moons would be very challenging to detect via direct imaging from Earth due to the small radial separation of the ring system and Cheriklo. Topic: Properties. The orientation of the rings is consistent with an edge on view from Earth in 2008, explaining the observed dimming of Cheriklo between 1997 and 2008 by a factor of 1.75, as well as the gradual disappearance of water ice and other materials from its spectrum as the observed surface area of the rings decreased. Also consistent with this edge on orientation is that since 2008, the Cheriklo system has increased in brightness by a factor of 1.5 again, and the infrared water ice spectral features have reappeared. This suggests that the rings are composed at least partially of water ice. An icy ring composition is also consistent with the expected density of a disrupted body within Cheriklo's Roche limit. Inner ring 2013C1R or Oyapok. The equivalent depth, a parameter related to the total amount of material contained in the ring based on the viewing geometry of C1R, was observed to vary by 21% over the course of the observation. Similar asymmetries have been observed during occultation observations of Uranus's narrow rings, and may be due to resonant oscillations responsible for modulating the width and optical depth of the rings. The column density of C1R is estimated to be 30 to 100 grams per square centimeter. Topic: <inaudible> Outer ring 2013C2R or Cui. C2R is half the width of the brighter ring and resides just outside it at 404.8 kilometers, 251.5 miles. With an optical depth of about 0.06, it is markedly more diffuse than its companion. Altogether, it has approximately a twelfth of the mass of C1R. <laughs> Simulations As the smallest known celestial body with its own ring system, Cheriklo and its rings are the first to have been fully simulated by numerically solving the n-body problem. The assumptions made included the planetoid and ring particles being spherical, and all particles having equal radii between 2.5 and 10 m. Depending on parameters, the simulations involved between 21 million and 345 million particles interacting with each other through gravity and collisions. The goal of the simulations was to assess under what conditions the rings remain stable, that is, do not cluster into few bigger bodies. The first conclusion coming from the simulations is that the density of Cheriklo has to be bigger than that of the ring matter, just in order to maintain them in orbit. Secondarily, for all tested ring particle radii and ring spatial densities, the rings did cluster in relatively short time scales. The authors suggest three main explanations. The ring particles are much smaller, on the order of 1 cm, than assumed in the simulations. The rings are very young below 100 years. There's a relatively massive, undetected as of yet, body in the system, which acts as a shepherd moon. The additionally noted that the effects of some of the assumptions, for instance, complete absence of eccentricity of the rings, have not been evaluated. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Telescopes and observatories. Telescopes that observed the occultation included the Danish National Telescope and the Survey Telescope Trappist of La Silla Observatory, the Prompt Telescopes Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory, the Brazilian Southern Astrophysical Research Telescope or SOAR Cerro Pachin, the 0.45 m ASH Telescope Cerro Baric, and those of the State University of Ponta Grossa Observatory, the Polo Astronomical Pole Casimiro Montenegro Filio at the Itaipu Technological Park Foundation, in Faz do Iguaçu, the Universidad Católica Observatory of the Pontifical Catholic University of Chile Santa Martina and several at Estación Astrofísica de Bosque Alegre, operated by the National University of Córdoba. 
Negative detections were recorded by El Catalejo Observatory, Santa Rosa, La Pampa, Argentina, the 20-inch Planewave Telescope, part of the Searchlight Observatory Network at San Pedro de Atacama, Chile, and the OALM instrument at Los Molinos Astronomical Observatory in Uruguay. Some of the other participating instruments were those at the National Observatory in Rio de Janeiro, the Volongo Observatory at the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, the Oeste do Parana State University Observatory or UNEST in the state of Parana, the Pico dos Dias Observatory or OPL in Minas Gerais, and the São Paulo State University UNESP, Garatingueta in São Paulo. Topic. References. External links Universidad Católica Observatory ESOCAST 64, First Ring System Around Asteroid on YouTube